Okay, fair warning. This video is going to be very annoying. But also, here's the intro. Uh, uh, uh. Woo, welcome, welcome to my channel. Um, I talk about my life, my mental health. Um, basically, how how am I trying to live a life full of passion and all of that? But I also react to things that make me react viscerally, um, especially regarding mental health. This is Belle Aubrey. I made a reaction video to her a few days ago and she made a response video. And yes, um, Belle is very annoying. Like, listen, 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 listen. Like, uh, I watched her other videos. Um, I have been subscribed to her for some time. I enjoy many of her other videos. I not saying I agree with every single thing she says, but, um, this, this arc of judging Eugenia Cooney, well, it's less about judging Eugenia Cooney and it's more about her defending the things that she says that doesn't make sense. It's more about Belle defending the things that she says that she doesn't make sense. This arc is very annoying. So I'm, we're not just going to sit here and watch everything that she says. I'm going to try to, um, just keep it <laughs> as brief as possible, but I have experience uh, working in ED clinics, outpatient and inpatient, uh, as a registered dietitian, um, mental health is a personal passion of mine as well. So I feel like it is worth, and a lot of, the, and a lot of the people who are making response videos are dudes who just have never had an issue with ED and to my knowledge, don't really talk about mental health. So I felt like it's worth it to have, my two cents in the ether. Um, so just to recap, uh, this creator is Belle Aubrey. She makes commentary videos. And one of the people that she commented on in the past was Eugenia Cooney. Eugenia Cooney is like a video gamer, cosplayer person. Um, she is Anna Rexit. Um, she, ha she has, and it's visible, it's visible. Um, many people have criticized Eugenia Cooney for a variety of things, for a variety of things. Um, many people have made videos on Eugenia Cooney because it's, it's just very concerning. Like, it's a concerning thing that you're, that you're seeing. But I personally haven't seen anybody get this much uh, retaliation against them for talking about Eugenia. So I, I just, I want to kind of cover some of the things that she's covering because she, it, it, do, it appears to me like this is a personal vendetta. And I think Belle feels like she's just being personally attacked, personally singled out. Um, that this is just something that's just against her. And she might even feel like there's misogyny at play here as well. So I wanted to give my two cents on this. But before I do, there's there's three videos I want to highlight that Belle references, but, she, but it's as if she didn't watch them. Okay, first and foremost, this creator here of Herbs and Altars Absolutely love her content. Absolutely love the way she discusses ED. I'm telling you of everything I've seen of her thus far as, as somebody who is just hypersensitive to when things sound off and also as somebody who worked as a registered dietitian specializing in ED, the way she talks about her experience, the way she talks about what it's like how is it diagnosed? What are, you know, common aspects of, of it? The way she talks about it and handles it, oh, chef's kiss. 
I can't say enough good praises about her. And Belle also recommends that you watch her. Ironically, Belle doesn't take any of her advice. <laughs> like, like ironically, uh, this video, how to help not hurt ED people online. Um, Belle doesn't take the advice in this video. Um, here's another one. Anna body checking what it actually means and looks like. I don't think Belle saw this video either, but you should. Um, I recommend it. Also, this this lady, Ra Pew Pew, um, she is calling out Eugenia on body checking and showing off. And she kind of gives her two cents on when she thinks Eugenia is doing it, when she thinks Eugenia is not doing it. I'm not saying I agree with everything that she said in her video, but... Um, you know, she's, she's raising awareness, uh, what, and Belle refers to her video in this video. I don't know if she gave this, um, this girl credit. No, she doesn't. Nope. She didn't give, um, this content creator credit. So I will give her credit. Okay. Her username is raw pew pew. This is the name of the video. Okay. Um, I'll also note that both of these content creators that Belle refers to, neither of them call for Eugenia to be deplatformed. Um, so here's the crux of the issue. Belle has been advocating for Eugenia to be deplatformed, removed from YouTube and potentially other um, social media, such as Instagram or Twitch. Um, and it, and it kind of implies that she wants Eugenia removed until Eugenia's body's at a healthy weight. And we have a problem with this. Um, it just doesn't seem right to, to have somebody removed because of how their body is existing in the world. We wouldn't do that to anybody else. We, we wouldn't do that to people who've gotten too much plastic surgery we wouldn't do that to there there we wouldn't just i can't imagine anybody that we would do that to and we don't we don't think eugenia should be an exception the evidence bell gives for why eugenia should be deplatformed is not substantial um we disagree with it. We feel like she provides evidence that's not actually evidence or she talks about things that's not actually relevant to the conversation. And I feel like everyone who's made a response to Bell has made these points clear, but the fact that Bell doesn't actually address these things and she addresses things that are not what we're discussing... <laughs> It makes me feel like Belle is just in full defense mode and it makes me feel like she's just one of those people where it's just hard for her to concede. It's hard for her to just admit that she's wrong and instead she doubles down and does a is for the children type of thing, which is a really easy and popular way to double down on something. Um... Once it's like your argument isn't really there and you and you see that people just they're just not picking up what you're putting down. Um, it's just easy to say, well, it's for the children so that you feel like it's still worth fighting for. And we just disagree. And I want to go through and that's the summary for those of you who just you just wanted to see my video real quick and dip out. <laughs> you can dip out. Um it is really annoying if you've been part of this conversation, but I'm going to try to go through it quickly and just reiterate um, what's wrong with 
what Bell is saying or implying in each part of this response to the response. There's a small group of creators out there who are trying very vigorously to spread the narrative that I hate Eugenia Yacouni for whatever reason, and that I'm trying to bully and harass her in order to foment hate against me. Me calling out- So just so you know, I played that clip so you understand her motivation, okay? And also, if you watch her video, you'll notice that the purpose of the videos are shifting, right? Originally, the purpose of Bell's videos was to de-platform Eugenia Cooney. Um, she, she said in a video, no, I don't want to de-platform her forever. But if your goal is to have somebody's channel demonetized or rem the videos removed um, and have that person not be able to re-upload until a uh, predetermined criteria, uh, that is de-platforming. Yeah, it is. And so you'll notice that now she's no longer saying that anymore. Now she's saying that the purpose is to attack Bell. And she thinks we are just vehemently trying to attack her. It makes me feel like this, you get what I'm saying? What I'm saying is this is no longer about Eugenia for Bell, in my opinion. I think Bell sees this as a personal f fight. Um, and I also feel like because she's no longer seen the videos need to be removed, she needs to be removed be because she's not saying that in this video, it kind of muddies, what are we fighting about? Um, because we are trying to say Eugenia doesn't need to be deplatformed for existing. And now since you're no longer bringing that up, it's like, okay, then what's your, what's your issue? What do you want? Like, what, why are we fighting? Because if you're bringing up things simply to criticize Eugenia, that's 100% valid. There are, there are, I think, I really do believe there are things that Eugenia should be held accountable to, that she should be criticized for. Um, but that's not what originally started this discourse. What started this discourse is that you wanted to deplatform her for having the audacity to show her face and her outfits and her makeup and whatever, she, for showing herself on camera. That's what we're against. But since Belle is not going to bring that up as much, it kind of muddies what we're fighting for. And she establishes early on in the video that this whole discourse is about making Belle look bad. Um, and it's not. So it's so it, when there's not a when there's not an actual argument <laughs> that we're trying to uh, prove or disprove, it's it's kind of hard to give a steady pace of logic. But I will do my best. Narrative is so disingenuous, it's honestly disgusting. This creator released yet another video slandering me. And while initially I said I wasn't going to make a response, I have been made aware of some things over the last 24 hours that have illuminated why exactly this sudden mob of hate has been thrown my way now of all times. So uh, you hear it again? She thinks that Willie Mac's video was slandering her. If you've seen Willie Mac's video and his response video, um, I personally don't see the slander. Um, and I don't see how, if what he's doing is slander, how what Bell's doing is not like if what Willie Mac's video says and does is going to be considered slander, I don't see how Bell fares any better. So it feels like Bell kind of decided I'm going to meet slander with slander. Uh, oh, and I did also want to note that um, now we should expect more videos about Eugenia Cooney from Bell. Uh, number one, because she's doubling down. And number two, because she's now going to start addressing more things related to Eugenia Cooney's fan base. Um, and she's just, she's just going to use all of this to keep making content about Eugenia Cooney unt until who knows when, until, until she, I, girl, <laughs> let's, let's move on. Okay. Here she criticizes the thumbnail. I'm trying to paint the picture that somehow I'm responsible for Eugenia crying here. So she's uh, saying he picked like the worst screen grab of her looking mean, 
Um, this kind of doesn't look like she's me. It just looks like a rent, like she's talking. Um, and she's like mid blink. Um, but she feels like this was intentional, intentionally picking her, uh, uh, an image of her looking not happy, but you know, Belle, that's just what you look like when you're talking, <laughs> You know, um, and Willie Mac has said in a live interview that he just picked a random point, like, Belle, that's just what you look like when you're talking. And, um, and then she feels like including this picture is trying to make it seem like Belle is causing Eugenia distress. Um, I, I would go as far as, as to argue you, you are, um, because Belle sent her videos to Eugenia and, when you have ED, a video of somebody else picking apart your body parts is incredibly triggering. If Eugenia watched Belle's video, she would be distressed. But that aside, um, that's not how it came across to me. Um, just throwing my opinion out there, uh, when I see this thumbnail, I... Uh, Maybe it might be that I'm a YouTuber, so I kind of know what thumbnails are about, but it just looks like we're pick. you know, there's a light side, Eugenia looking beautiful and a dark side, Eugenia looking distressed and, um, it's kind of showing con the, it says concern to hate, like from con concern, which is a nice, beautiful thing to hate, which is not a beautiful thing. It's kind of eliciting an emotional response and, uh, I, I just, I didn't read it as the personal offense that Bill took it, but let me know in the comments if you did, like, let me know in the comments if you saw this thumbnail and it made you feel like Bell is actively causing Eugenia to cry and that Eugenia is looking distressed in this image because of Bell. Cause I did not think that at all. Back. You had a hell of an impact because Keemstar decided to signal boost your slander with his 3 million follower plus Twitter account. But I guess you just seemingly forgot to mention that. She takes a positive caption on one of you. So she mentions that, you know, this is more evidence that Willie Mac is trying to be manipulative. I, and again, I, this is why I said in my community post that I feel like Bell is just being hypocritical. If what Millie Mac is doing is saying is slander and manipulation, Belle, you're you're doing the exact same thing, maybe even worse. Um, he's trying to kind of throw in a joke. His video only got 30,000 views. So I'm assuming that means even with Keemstar plugging the video, um, the video only got 30,000 views. So that, I mean, this is a lot of discourse for a video that just got 30,000 views. I mean, I, I don't see a problem with that, but if I was Belle and I truly believed these guys, and I think she's mostly responding to guys. There are women who are talking about this issue, but we don't have a large fan base. We're small channels. I don't think she's paying any attention to what we're saying. I think she's focusing on what these guys are saying. And I feel like this is just my, she, I don't think she, she hasn't outright said this, but the vibe I'm getting from Belle is she feels like these dudes are being misogynistic towards her. So if I was just coming into the fight, just thinking I have to defend myself against these misogynistic pigs, then, uh, you know, I would, I would view everything as an insult in a slight. Toxic positivity or fake positivity. And it's a thing. And it's something Eugenia has been doing for a very, very long time. So now she's saying that when Eugenia posts pictures of herself on her Instagram and she has a positive uh, quote under it, it's toxic positivity. I don't see how this is relevant. Um, the point we're trying to make is that you're using the fact that she's taking a picture of herself and she has a positive quotation under it. You, Belle, are using that as evidence that she is pro Anna. And we're saying that's not evidence saying, you know, you know, make, make lemons, lemonade out of lemons under a picture of yourself. 
that it's not, we, we don't see how that's pro Anna. And so that's what Willie Mac is calling you out on. He's, he's saying that it's absurd to say somebody can't take a picture of themselves and have a positive quote under it. It's absurd to say they can't do that. And your response is it's called toxic positivity. Google it. Even if it is toxic positivity, which um, that is a topic of discussion I love to talk about. I Toxic positivity annoys the hell out of me. But um, even if it is toxic positivity, an obsession with positive thinking, uh, what, what, why does that make it pro-Anna? Because toxic positivity doesn't up, just apply to pro-Anna. It applies to anything and everything. W- what makes it pro-Anna? And why is it worth being deplatformed for? <laughs> you know what I mean? And if your point was to prove that she's doing toxic positivity, that she that she has just an unhealthy obsession with positive thinking and is ignoring reality, which you might have an argument for, then um, you would have shown, then that's what we would be talking about. We will be talking about she needs to stop being toxically positive, you know, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about someone being pro Anna and being needing to be deplatformed. So I just don't see how this is relevant. And she kind of said it in a checkmate kind of way, like, <laughs> you don't know what toxic positivity is? <laughs> Google it, you know, kind of way. And it's like, okay, sure, but that it's not relevant to the discussion. Seems wildly uneducated to talk about it. I find it really weird that in all of his videos, I don't think I've ever heard him mention body checking, which again, Eugenia does. That's what her content is. In this first clip, Eugenia gets a comment about someone asking. Yeah, that's not what her content is. And what's funny is in this video, this is what I was showing you is this creator, which she doesn't credit. She doesn't credit this person. But in the in this video that she's using to try to support her stance, this creator says herself that sometimes Eugenia is just showing off clothes and it's not body checking. In, bro, 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 bro. In the very, and it's only a 16 minute video. If you watch it at two times speed, it's eight minutes under 10 minutes. In this very video, this content creator set is delineating between what she thinks is body checking and what she doesn't think is body checking. But you are saying, no, that's what Eugenia's content is. Eugenia's content is body checking. And then you use a clip of a video that actually disagrees with you to try to support yourself. Y'all, when I, that's why I said I, she's delusional. She's hypocritical. She's lacking logic. Like, this, th- yo, this is why I said this video is highly annoying. Like, whoo, yo. Okay, so I just had to let that point be known <laughs> that she literally doesn't make sense here. And that's why, that's why I'm saying this is, this is about Belle defending Belle. This is not about Eugenia Cooney. This is not about whatever it was about originally. Belle is just trying to defend Belle, regardless of logic, regardless of what makes sense, regardless of delusions. It doesn't matter if you, if you are in fight mode, she is in fight or flight mode and she chose fight. She chose fight. She chose fight. And what she's fighting for is her her ego, I suppose. But okay, here's the other thing when it comes to body checking. Um, I don't know if Will knows what body checking is. He probably doesn't. And here's the other thing, Belle, you didn't explain what body checking was either. Like you, I do hear her mention the word body checking maybe one to three times in her first response video and I think in the original video. I don't recall her explaining what it is in great detail. She didn't explain it enough 
for anybody to keep talking about it because in all of our videos that are currently talking about Belle and her horrible, girl, I'm sorry, this is a horrible response, but all of us who are talking about Belle and her horrible response, none of us really mentioned body checking because Belle did not make that a, a point of emphasis. I think Belle just kind of assumed that we all know what body checking is and we all see the same things as body checking, but we don't. So much so that even the person that you're using to defend your point disagrees with you about what's body checking and what's not. Because you seem to think Eugenia's mere existence on a screen is body checking. And we all disagree with you, including this person's video that you're using that you didn't credit. Christ. And, and also, let, let me explain what body checking is too. It's when you're actually, um, here, of herbs and altars has a video about what's body checking. She explains it. Um, she explains how she used to do it as well. Um, I think the thumbnail of this video was like, it says something like, you keep using that word, but I don't think you know what it means. <laughs> and I, I think that perfectly applies to, I think that applies to Belle. You, you keep using that word, but I don't think you know what it means. Now, let me say, um, and I so appreciate the comments under my videos because I went to see some, what are people saying about Eugenia's body checking? I feel like people um, are mostly on the same page as the, the, of the Eugenia Cooney fans who they watch her, they know her content. I feel like they're on mostly the same page as, um, what is your name? Raw Pew Pew, which is there are some things that we think might be body checking. There are some things that we're like, that's not body checking, leave her alone. Um, and that's definitely a point of conversation. Like that should be, that should be its own video. If, if we're going to talk about it, but I kind of, I feel like it's problematic to talk about in the first place. Um, watch of herbs and altars video. But, um, I, I think if you're going to talk about it, you need to actually know what it is. <laughs> you need to make sure you know what it is and it needs to be its own video because it's, it's an in-depth topic. Um, and it needs to be a video that's not related to, we need to get this person's video off of YouTube. Right? Yo, I don't think I, I still didn't explain what it is. It's, it's when you're, you're trying to check if you're getting smaller. Okay. So there's different ways, there's different ways and angles and, and motions that you do to check if you're getting smaller. And sometimes it's subconscious. Like sometimes you do it and you, you don't even realize that you're doing it. The thing with Eugenia is, um, there are times where, um, it's like the audience is asking her to basically body check and she, compl and she complies and she does it for the audience. Um, so like I said, I definitely think it's something to talk about. Um, but not in the way that Belle has, because Belle didn't talk about it. She didn't, she didn't talk about it. No, she didn't talk about it. So it kind of feels like when she's bringing up this body checking thing, it's like, wait, 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 wait. All of a sudden you want to emphasize body checking. You haven't even been emphasizing the body checking this whole time. So, so all of a sudden you want to bring this up as a point. Furthermore, does that mean this person needs to be deplatformed or does it mean, Hey, can we have a conversation about this? And can you stop, can you stop doing that? <laughs> On top of also, there's some aspects of it that is subconscious. You may not even know that you're doing it, but there's a, there's a way, there's something that you're doing that's problematic. Like there's a conversation to be had is my point. Um, so I don't see how this is evidence that somebody needs to be deplatformed. Her legs instead of recording her shoes and the shoe haul video 
our shoe collection video. Like I said- So this is the part of Raw Pew Pew's video that I actually disagree with. Um, she is saying that this might be a body check because it's a shoe haul, but she's showing her entire body to show off shoes rather than just aiming the camera at shoes. And I disagree with her because I believe Eugenia mostly records from a webcam that's positioned in a certain way. It's the reason why every time I'm on camera, I it looks how it looks because the webcam is in a certain way. So if I was going to do a shoe haul, I would, I would literally be doing what Eugenia is doing, which is, uh, this is what it looks like on me. And I would, uh, try to angle the camera as best as I can and show my, show my foot. Um, so I, that's why I disagree with raw pew pew. And um, there was like one or two other things I disagreed with her on, but for the most part, I, I liked what Raw Pew Pew had to say. Uh, and I'm giving Raw Pew Pew the credit, not Belle, because Belle never came with this kind of evidence or this talking point. She's just taking from somebody else. The video is titled My Response and Why YouTube Agrees With Me. They definitely don't, but we'll get to that. Where's your proof that they don't? Because okay, so well, let me let me pause because you're screaming. I know you're screaming. I was screaming because I was like, "Trick, you don't have evidence. You didn't have evidence. You didn't have evidence that they do. Our evidence is that in your video, you are actually saying EDs. You are saying it over and over in your video. That probably flags YouTube. In Eugenia's videos, she does not." say it so she does not get flagged and it's like it's as if this argument she never heard of i refuse to believe she hasn't heard this line of logic first of all i find it odd that she herself couldn't come up with this line of logic that that that's why i'm saying she's still she it's like she's delusional how you didn't think of that yourself i don't know but with all the responses out there, how you haven't heard this line of logic, I don't believe, I, it's like willful ignorance. It's like you're willfully being ignorant because the only evidence that you have is Eugenia's a bigger channel than me. So she brings in more money. We disagree with you on that because there are Examples of big channels that have been banned from YouTube, not just had a video removed, but literally banned. And there's examples of huge YouTubers, bigger than Eugenia Cooney, who have had videos removed, who have had their platforms demonetized, um, who have had their platform shadow banned, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So your line of logic doesn't make sense. Eugenia is not bigger than Shane Dawson. Eugenia is not bigger than Leafy was here. Your Eugenia is <laughs> like Eugenia is small fry compared to people that we've seen them be deplatformed, whether permanently or temporarily. You're you're asking us to buy into a line of logic that just it does not make sense. It, do, it doesn't make sense. And it's like, you can't accept, you, you just can't wrap your head around the idea of people um, not having your same line of logic. And when we bring up the, the holes in your logic, you ignore them. And you just continue to do it. Like this video was just a continuation of la la la, I'm not listening. That's why this video is very annoying. That's why, oh dang. That's why you're, you're getting these dislikes and all of these comments are like, can you please move on? Leave it alone. Move on. Stop. You don't make sense. Like all of these, all <laughs> a large portion of these, of these comments are like begging you to stop one's being accused of lying when he's lying and we're not even five minutes into the video but nice try doing the whole she's calling me a bigot card that was, that was clever he acts like i yeah so willie mack is addressing how she's how she she is implying he's being a bigot because she's saying oh if if you're a girl or you're lgbt 
then you're not a commentary channel. You're, you're a T channel girl. Yeah. You're calling him a bigot. And, 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 and the fact that you're including this, it's like, this is not relevant to the discussion. The discussion is about was your evidence good enough for us to be on your side with the platform in Eugenia Cooney, we said, no, you say, yes, you double down and say, yes, it is. And now you want to go tit for tat about, <laughs> wow, you're trying to say, I called you a bigot, but I didn't call you a bigot. I just said, you know, you're calling us girls and LGBT T channels. And that's a little, like, this is, this is like, per this is, this is bickering. This part is bickering. That's why, y'all, you know, that's why I'm like, mm. That's why I try to give y'all a summary in my community section because it, it, the video is annoying. Shows how biased you are with what Yo. subjects you decide to cover. D'Angelo Wallace, biggest she is bag still, on the internet. She is still on this T channel thing. I told y'all that T channel thing made her mad, but she's still, how long does she talk about this? It was in May, May. It's now October. Stop pretending like you didn't see the video. Stop lying to your audience and stop acting. Yo. How many minutes are we going to go on with this bickering BS? Like get back to the, get back to the topic. Because that's what you want it to be. Finspo exists, pro Anna exists, shock content exists. Whether you like it or not, influencers do have a responsibility to their audience because with a platform comes influence and with influence comes responsibility. That's just how it works. That's why we have TOS. When you actually look that, at that, Eugenia's content, wait, wait, what is that's not just how it works. So we have a TOS, yes. Anything outside of that TOS, it's up to that individual's discretion. Of course, the community can come together and request, hey, we think XYZ needs to be added to the TOS. But, you know, outside of that, it's up to the person's discretion. And you have not shown us anything that shows her violating TOS. You just, you simply haven't shown it. <laughs> You you just you simply haven't shown it. Video games, clothes, okay, so and makeup. Here she's, she's doing the same thing us. as everyone else on this website. No, she's not doing the same thing as everyone else. She's producing thinspo. She's body checking, and she's producing content which is actively hurting her audience, regardless of how many people ask her to stop. And the worst part is, she's doing all of it with a smile on her face while telling everyone that she is completely fine, normalizing the idea that she is okay, that she is not sick, and that this is normal, healthy, and fine. Do you want to gain I weight? I don't. Uh, Zabby, no, no, no. No. Okay. Okay. Number one, she's producing thin spell. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think she means that uh, Eugenia is intentionally producing thin spell. What it would most logically mean is Eugenia is her existence online provides content for thin spell. Right, like people can take her picture and put it on their thin spell page. That makes more sense. Um, that's not against TOS. First of all, that, that's not against TOS. And it's not against TOS because if you look like that, it's not a, it's not against the rules to look like that and be and make a video of yourself. You can make a video of yourself. I understand. It's problematic. These thin spell pages that use Eugenia and anybody else are problematic. So you should take down the thin spell pages. I don't understand. Take down the thin spell pages rather than tell somebody that they shouldn't exist. Okay. Number two, she's, she's body checking. Um, I believe she started to do less and less of it because of people speaking out. I think that body checking piece is partially subjective, but the part that I do agree with where someone's requesting her to, you know, to do something, I agree that you should ask her to stop doing that. I, I might even go as far as to say the videos where she does it should be flagged or something. I might go as far as to be on the same page with you on that. Maybe. Something I have to chew on more. But she's not doing that in all of her videos. And as time goes on, she's doing it less and less. So why does she need to be the platform, especially if she's not doing it. Actually, I personally have never seen her. 
I have, I, I don't watch her much, but I've never seen her do it myself watching, like watching her YouTube content. So I'm just confused as to why that means she needs to be deplatformed if she's not doing it anymore or, or why that part can't be removed. Okay. But then you're criticizing her for saying that she's totally fine, which is normalizing da 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 You, this is the part that confuses me because Belle claims to have had this ED. If Belle has had this ED before number one, she would know that making a video about Eugenia with arrows pointing to her body parts and then sending that video to Eugenia, she would know that that is highly triggering and offensive. Two, she would know that if you have ED, you think you're fine. Actually, if you have ED, you don't think you're fine. You still, you still think you're, you still, you're still criticizing yourself. But if anybody tells you, hey, I think you have an ED, you're defensive. You're like, no, I don't. No, I'm just healthy. I'm totally fine. You would know that. You would know that this is a part of the mental illness. Like, it sounds like, but in her other video, she said, no, we shouldn't blame Eugenia for her mental illness. She can't help it. But right here, it sounds like you are. It sounds like you are tr you're trying to hold her responsible for saying that she's fine when you know that that's literally a symptom of the mental health issue. You know that is a hallmark aspect of the issue. What is going on? It's like flip-flop city. And... And let's, let's pretend that Belle gets that, but she still just has a problem with the fact that Eugenia said it. How is it breaking TOS? If she believes that she's fine, Like, I don't know. Like, are we going to deplatform people with a, a skin tumor? And if they say I'm fine, we're going to deplatform them? Like, like, honestly, yeah, I wish we could deplatform all everyone who has some form of delusion, but that's not, that's not what we do. We'll see one that says harmful and dangerous content. Dude, and if you read she's through repeating it, it herself says again. We, we, yo, see? This video is very annoying. She's repeating herself eating again. Eating disorders. Content that praises, glorifies, or encourages viewers to imitate anorexia or other eating disorders. As so when does she do... She doesn't do that. <laughs> she doesn't glorify her ED. She doesn't glorify her size. Yo. Hey, everything's like completely cool. It's okay if you look like that. It's okay if you look a certain way. Don't listen to what other people think. That is influencing them. That is telling them that it is okay that she looks like that. And therefore she's spreading the message that it's okay if they look like her too. YouTube actually responded. Thanks for the info. Here's the thing. She, I mean, she does have a video for saying, no, you shouldn't look like me. We, we all know, like, okay. Maybe, oh, she doesn't say it enough. Maybe, oh, it's only one time. But the point is, she's talking about herself. Dude, you can't deplatform people for talking about themselves. I, and I get it. I get it. Yes, just because you're talking about yourself doesn't mean somebody personal can't take that and be like, well, I know it's just she's talking about herself, but but I want to do it too. So if she's fine, then I can do it too. Baby, that, <laughs> yo, that is, that is life. Like that, that you can't, you can't, you can't kick somebody out for talking about themselves. 
Dude, do you know how many people, when the raw food diet was abundant, and some of these people at least had enough sense to be like, this is just what I do. This is just what I do. You know, that is a very different thing than the people who are saying, this is what you should do. This is the diet that's the healthiest. The we You can't deplatform people for talking about what, what themselves. We can deplatform people who are trying to promote, promote something that is against TOS. But if you're talking about yourself, and especially if what we're talking about is why does your body look like that? Especially if what we're talking about is people saying, hey, you need to eat a hamburger, you need to gain weight. And you're saying, no, I don't want to alter myself. No, we, we're not going to remove people for that. And I understand the concern. I understand the concern. Some people are telling me, don't buy into Belle's concern. It's fake concern. It's, she's not really concerned. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of starting to believe it, but. But assuming she truly is concerned, I understand the concern. That's why you make videos, you know, kind of showing the opposite, trying to prove the opposite. You make videos against, against it, but you can't have somebody deplatform because they're responding to people, asking them to alter themselves. And they're saying, I don't want to alter myself. That's not right to me. I, I don't know if Belle understands this. We know why she, we understand why Belle's upset. I think she doesn't understand that we get her. We understand her entirely. We just disagree with the end result that she's trying to, to make. I'm not going to play what she says here because it's super annoying and I already addressed it, but um, I just want to show you how smug she is about, she's very smug about it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in her head. I don't think she's listening to anybody. I, I don't know what's going on in her head. Do you think could be triggering? I always censor. I have this That's false. feeling no, that you it's don't. probably not me. You don't. How are you going to talk about how Eugenia's body parts are triggering and you didn't censor her body parts. You put big ass red arrows pointing to her body parts. I just had to point out that little lie. Um, you don't, you don't censor what's triggering. If you censored what's triggering, you would censor Eugenia Cooney entirely <laughs> because you're saying she's triggering. Oh, the logic is just not there. It's not there, y'all. This is a lie, but it is also disgusting for him to try to state with certainty that I am acting with malicious intent, something that I am not. But you can state with certainty that all of this is a smear campaign against you. So wait, so he can't. He can't wonder or imply or mention that he thinks you have malintent, but, but you, but you can do that. You can say all of us just have something out to, against you. Yo, it's, it's hypocritical. The parent to micromanage what their child watches. You know how every parent is just watching their child 24 seven and has endless hours. Yeah. To make so, sure so the argument is that, you know, it's the parent's job to monitor what the child's watching, uh, not the YouTuber's job. This is a conversation we had with Cardi B when everyone was like, hey, you need to not have that WAP song because I have daughters. Did you know I have a daughter? Did you know I have a five-year-old daughter? Did you know I have a seven-year-old? And Cardi B's like, okay, well, I'm Cardi B. I'm not your five-year-old's mom. You're her mom. You're her dad. So my, my music, I, my music's not for kids. So my point is we do live in a world where it is hard to manage everything that your child consumes. That's, that's the world we live in. Um, that's why conservatives like are so always afraid. Like they, they think everything is a slippery slope. They're just always afraid. 
because they know this, or I'll meet somebody from a certain different country and they'll say, oh, my, I'll never raise my kids in America. Um, you know, we'll, we'll give birth to them there and then come back, back to our country for them to be raised. And then they can go back to America for school. You know, that's just the world that we live in. And that is a different, like, that's a different topic (laughs) entirely. I wish you would just keep everything focused on why you, why she thinks Eugenia should be platformed, how it violates TOS. But the majority of this video has been about things that aren't related to that. Gina's home life. The fact that it's the only witness testimony about what's going on in that household doesn't make it any less ridiculous that you tried to use this as evidence that everything going on in there is a Wait. She then pins a comment talking Girl, about you. you use literally nothing as evidence for your point. What is wrong with him using the only witness statement available as evidence for his point? You see what I mean? Like, you don't make sense. It's like you don't understand how an argument or a debate or or how a conversation works. He's using the only evidence available to him. You know, at least he's providing evidence. You don't provide evidence. And when we say, when you say, no, I did, this is what I provided. And we tell you that's not good enough. You just reuse it. You just reuse that. You just keep repeating yourself. (laughs) You just keep repeating yourself. Random situation where Eugenia banned a 16 year old girl from her Twitch chat when she complained that- Anyway, hold on, let's move on past this. ...are saying that they were coerced by Eugenia and her mods into saying that they did a good job helping her when in fact they did next to nothing to do so. The truth is there is a massive cover up going on in Eugenia's community that culminated in an event last week that her and her mods are desperately trying to keep hidden. Now, this is So event- this is why this is what she's going to use as an excuse to keep talking about Eugenia Cooney. I say it's an excuse because I I no longer believe that she's doing this out of good faith. I believe she's anything that she says now related to Eugenia Cooney, I'm just thinking, oh, she's just trying to defend herself. She's just trying to get us see everybody I was right kind of moment. You know, like when Trisha Paytas said that thing about her her teacher who's now gone and then somebody came out didn't didn't agree with Trisha just said I had a certain experience that was still different than what Trisha said and then Trisha used it as a see I was right (laughs) she used it as a see I was right moment I just misremember I just misspoke um anyway my point is um Whatever is going on in Eugenia's community and her Discord, whatever, um, obviously it's not it's not good. Um, and that is a separate conversation. Like that is something worth talking about. Um, that community, I and I don't know I don't know what's going on in it. I just I just heard some f shit going on, and that's worth talking about. Yeah. But what's interesting is Belle doesn't talk about it. I mean, she mentions it. She certainly at least talks about it more than the deemed body checking. But that's not her main argument. That, that, that's never been her main argument. It's just always been an aside thing. But now she wants to turn it into the main argument. And I think it's just an excuse to say, haha, everybody, I was right. Eugenia should be deplatformed. I mean, th- but that's just how I personally feel about it. I have full screenshots of everything and that video will also be coming soon. I'm not going to stop talking about this because it is not just one 16 year old that was being groomed in Eugenia. Okay. So I would rather hear about this news from somebody else who doesn't have a personal vendetta, but she thinks that all of us just came out of the woodworks because Eugenia and her mods are trying to cover something up. Um, I will just say for the record, I have never in my life interacted with Eugenia Cooney um, ever or anybody who is representing Eugenia Cooney. Um, I made my videos because at the time that I saw them, they gave me a visceral stank face reaction. And I, whenever a video makes me do that, I post, (laughs) I post a reaction. Um, 
so anyway, now she's just going to continue. I mean, there's still a little bit more for video, but as you've seen, she um, brings up things that she never really brought up before, which I honestly think would be great to discuss. I think, the, um, well, the body checking would be great to discuss given the person is sensitive about this, about what it is and actually literally knows what it is. Um, what's going on in her community Fan fantastic to discuss and um, any video I've seen holding Eugenia accountable it has been mostly about her community I, I don't remember all the details I just remember the main issue is there's something going on in her community that I don't know where they congregate or anything like that but that seems like something worth discussing and worth holding Eugenia uh, Cooney accountable for definitely um and these are the only two things of note that I think are worth discussing. And everything else has been, has been bullshit. Like everything else has been utter, utter bullshit. Hypocrisy, unrelated, irrelevant, um, not actual evidence, um, being contradictory, like contradicting yourself and your ideals before our very eyes. And I noticed that she hasn't discussed, she hasn't mentioned we, she needs to be deplatformed again. So it's like, so what is all of this for? Are you, are the fact that she doesn't reiterate what is all of this for is again, part of what makes me feel like this is just a personal thing at this point. And if she keeps going on, it's just going to become a back and forth. I don't know if Fully Mac is going to respond to her again. <sighs> um, I don't know. But now that there, she found this cover up, she's very excited because she gets to res she'll get to respond to whoever she wants to. And also talk about this cover up, which will sound more newsworthy and more noble to discuss and, you know, get whatever little brownie points that she's trying to get. So, um, that's my take on this video. Um, I'm just not interested in anything Bell has to say about anything related to Eugenia Cooney. Um, I would rather just watch someone else discuss it, which people will. Commentary channels are going to discuss whatever comes out. Um, but yeah, y'all. So that's my two cents. I hope that gave you something to chew on. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Do, 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 do. <laughs> subscribe if you vibe thanks for hanging out with me this morning well it's actually nighttime but i'm going to schedule this to come out in the morning um until next time much love much luck peace out bye